Hello everyone, I'm Tina with Gems, Paper, Scissors, and I am an independent consultant with Close to My Heart. Thank you for joining me. Uh, tonight I am participating in a YouTube hop with my fellow Twisted Sisters. We're taking some product from our new idea books and twisting them up. So I got my idea. I'm making a card for a little girl who loves this very popular story. It's the little mouse, the red ripe strawberry, and the big hungry bear. So without further ado, I'm going to take you along. I am using the textured leaves stamp and thin cut set, as well as the Bloom and Grace background textured paper for this project. So I used a basic card blank and my handy dandy bone folder. Then I really feel like this is going to blend in too much. So I took some of our new to us Ranger Distress Oxide Pumice Stone color, our handy dandy blender. Remember, it just sits on the top, so it doesn't take much. And it helps if you start on your mat and in a circular motion, apply it. And it just adds a nice oxidized chalky feel to this, this layout. And if you do it at a slight slant, you will get better coverage. And I'm just doing an off little shading here. There's not going to be full coverage because I just want it to tone down that darker fern so that the light fern card stuff that I used to cut out my shapes will stand out just a little bit more. So, and then I tend to like to do what's called distressing of my paper. So it stands out really well and you just run it along. I'm going, I'm using the um, espresso tonight. I'm trying to keep those earthen tones rolling for this layout. I think it's most complimentary. And if you have a little scrape on the side, it's not a big deal. Then we're just going to apply this with some basic tape runner to our card blank, just like so. Let's smooth that on. Then I have this really cute leaf. Now that is this leaf right here that I use the thin cut on some candy apple and it's an awfully large stem for a strawberry. So we're going to trim that off and then I'm taking our metallic red garnet marker and adding little seed marks and they're just random, you know, just as, as a true star strawberry would be. Some are shorter, some are longer. I'm just going ahead and get marking. The metallic will catch a really lovely shine and shimmer in the sunlight when she opens her gift. At least that's my hope. So. And I'm going to, again, just use my standard tape runner and get that onto my card. I'm going to do it at a slight little angle, just like that. Then I'm going to have these two really nice, darker New England ivy leaves that again, I'm not going to need the stems. So I'm just going to trim those off and using my tape runner, just running it along. And I'm going to trim some off once I've got it in place. So let's run with a little bit 
of an angle like so and maybe a little curl up of the edge and something like that. There we go. And I just keep folding and, and pulling as I go. And I'm not going to push this all the way down. I'm going to do a little bit of trim. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. In fact, if it's not, it's actually quite enjoyable for me because I figure that nature is not in a vacuum and there's going to be little pieces here and there that then can be utilized as added accents. So that's what I'm going to do. Just like that. And then I'm going to take, oh, our tri Spectrum Neor Tri-Blend Marker. I'm gonna use the yellow green blend i'm going to use the darkest shade and just add some shading to this make it stand out make it just kind of look less flat add dimension okay and it doesn't again have to be perfect because I'm going to go over this many times with many shades. So then add a little there and then I'm going to shift out to the light shade of this and just highlight it in almost like natural veining or the softness of a leaf. And there are true artists as far as coloring and markers. I'm not one of them, but I get the job done. So if you don't feel that you're the best at this whole coloring business, that's okay. Neither am I. And yet it almost always turns out pretty okay. And a lighter touch is probably better. And so there's that. Kind of has a nice little soft touch. I like it. It's not perfect, but I, I do like it. And then now to get over to this little mouse. I have three different shapes of leaves cut out for this, this little critter. And this one's going to be the tail. So I'm going to actually trim this down um, because quite simply, a mouse doesn't have a tail nearly that wide, but I like the shape, the overall start of this, of this piece. So I'm gonna trim that down and kind of get that going right in there, I like that. So I'm going to use the mini micro dots that we have. And I'm having the light side of this fern paper be uh, facing out. And that's just, again, a personal preference so that I think it'll stand out more and I'm twisting it around, adding some dimension. And again, I really like this leaf. It has a nice little curve for a head, but let's face it, we do not need this stem at all for that little body. So I'm going to take just a little bit of our thin 3D tape and adhere this. Add that and that. And then I'm 
going to take that backing off and get that in place. I'm going to have it tilting back just a little bit so that there's room for that cute, adorable little head. So I think we're going to go like this. Not quite so severe. There we go. Then I'm going to trim off this head because that's an awfully large little mouse. And again, I'm going to use that thin 3D tape. And I think I'm going to change the side so that it's actually the darker of the fern. So here we go. Nice little fern add on there. And we're going to have it tipping up just a little, kind of this cute little face. And then I'm going to add some features to this, this cute little mouse so that you can actually tell it's a mouse. So I'm going to just squiggle on a little bit of a body and I'm going to turn this so that I can actually see what I'm doing and add a little bit of body here and add some leafing veining type tone. I'm using our platinum shimmer sparkles and then just a simple little brush to blend this in so that it's not so harsh and it looks more like little mousy fur and still kind of reflects that little um, leaf feature that this originally started as. Maybe add just a little bit around here onto this little mousy and decrease that arm a little. Again, bringing it and it's just spreading it out and using a brush to spread it out, it will dry faster. Then I'm going to add a very primitive little batch of, of, of feet and paws. So you get the sense that there's a foot there. And then a little bit of an extension of this arm because it's reaching for this cute little strawberry. Add some little fingers. There you go. So that's using the pink taffeta sparkles. And then I'm going to add some ears using our brand new rose gold pearls. So just a little bit of a mousy ear here and here will do the trick. And these will dry pretty quick because I'm not putting them on terribly thick. So just some mousy ears and quick little eyes using our bisque which is also our new pearls back to the rose gold for the nose tip and finally our black diamond pearl to add a pupil to this little little eye. There we go. And that concludes my Twisted Sister Hop YouTube video. I hope that you enjoyed this enough to subscribe to my channel, like it, make a comment, and then please Take a moment and hop on over to the next in line, which is Katie Donaldson Taylor. Have a great day.